My name is Jonathan and I come from Singapore. This year I took part in the ICO Challenge Cold Space Rescue Identity Competition. Other competitions that I took part in would be the World Cup Singapore Open from 2015 to 2017 and 2019, the National Junior Robots Competition from 2015 to 2016, and the subsequent National Robots Competition in 2018 and 2019. Some strategies that I use for this competition would be the optical of violent system. The optical one system uses a basic algorithm in which a specific action will be undertaken if requirements met. What do I mean? Remember, in the front ultrasonic sensor, this optical, the robot turns left. In the left ultrasonic sensor, the text and optical, the robot turns right. And finally, in the right ultrasonic sensor, the text optical, the robot turns left. So in this video, when the robot front ultrasonic sensor, the text optical, the robot turns left. Next, if the robot's left ultrasonic sensor detects the optical, the robot turns right. And finally, if the robot's right ultrasonic sensor detects the optical, the robot will turn left. The next algorithm I use will be the boundary tensing algorithm. The boundary tensing algorithm involves mapping the field into a partition plane, in which the x is the line x, x equals to 10. X equals 350, Y equals 260, and Y equals 10 mark the boundary. As such, when the robot coordinates is close to these lines, the boundary density algorithm will kick in, and the robot will turn away from the boundary. Thus, it does not like exit the field. Remember, in this video, the robot, when the robot reaches the boundary, it turns away, and turns does not go out of bounds. The last algorithm I used to the deposit algorithm. The auto deposit algorithm first came to my mind due to this particular corner. At this corner, the robot's right ultrasonic sensor will take a ball and turns to turn left. Afterwards, you will reach the boundary and thus will turn right. However, when it turns right, you will send the ball again and thus turn left. This cycle will continue on and on, and therefore the robot will start at a particular corner, making it very efficient. As such, a checkpoint has to, a virtual checkpoint has to be set in the corner. It means when the robot reaches this area, a program will kick in and the robot will turn a particular angle and move towards the deposit area. This will be marked the basis of the auto deposit program. So, the auto so if you look at this video, uh, when the robot reaches the particular checkpoint, it will turn right by 20 to 30 degrees and enter the deposit area. So the reason for auto deposit will be that it's difficult to reach deposit area, as firstly it's surrounded by walls and traps. As you can see from this picture, one of the deposit areas is surrounded by two walls and one trap, meaning there's only one entrance into the deposit area, thus making it very difficult to reach. The other reason will be that the deposit areas are in a very elusive area. Now, the other deposit area is highly reached by the wall as it's in a very elusive area, and secondly, there's many obstacles blocking it which means it is very difficult to reach. This means that our deposit program has to be used in order to get the maximum points for the position. The, the auto deposit program works by marking out certain checkpoints, in this case, 81 and 82. When the robot reaches 81, the auto deposit program will kick in, so the robot turning, turning to the left by 20 30 degrees and will reach straight. But when it reaches the boundary, the robot will execute the boundary setting system and thus turn right towards 82. Finally, the world will reach 82 resulting in the other of the auto deposit program running, which results in the world turning right by 20 30 degrees and enter the deposit area. As you can see from this video, the world is slowly reaching 81 before turning left by 30 degrees and reaching the boundary. In other words, the boundary sensing algorithm will kick in, resulting in moving towards 82. Finally, upon reaching the 2, the robot turn and move towards the deposit area, just completing the auto deposit program. So some of our learning experience will be firstly, from the ICO challenge, I have learned that it's important to innovate in order to solve problems in the adversity. For example, for this mission, 
I had to use the other deposit program in order to get the most points from that position. Second lesson learned from course will be from the course phase report, which is that I learned how to use X and Y coordinates to make virtual check points, which is necessary for the um, auto deposit program. After viewing the sh sharing videos on the RCAB Academy YouTube channel, I'm more interested in learning from CN7008 due to his Floyd Walsh algorithm, which is very important for my and beneficial for my program, as I have to plot the shorter distance from one point to the deposit area, to reducing the time taken to reach the deposit area and therefore increasing the amount of points earned. So I can share my knowledge of robotic AI with others by teaching my peers and, sh and telling them about what I've learned from this competition. Thank you.